Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, and today I'm bringing to you the question, is this the best build for the domination game mode in Battlefield 1? I've pulled together my loadout for if someone said I could only use one set of equipment to play domination. Now obviously, there are certain caveats here, as there is no absolute best loadout for a game type, as there are so many abilities and roles to be filled in Battlefield 1. Also, there are different playstyles and ability levels, but in my opinion, this is the best build I have used for an average game of domination, and I'm going to tell you why, but firstly, I better tell you what it is. It's a medic build which consists of the auto-loading 8.25 automatic extended, the auto-revolver, bandage pouches, the medical syringe, a frag grenade, and essentially any melee weapon you wish, I've gone for the Bartek bludgeon as usual. Now, our primary weapon is absolutely lethal at close to medium range. I won't go into too much detail as I specifically focused on the autoloading 8.25 extended in a recent video I made, and I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to see more. But to give you a basic overview, this weapon fires really fast, has a great time to kill, with easy to control recoil at its intended range of use, and a magazine size of 16. Domination is one of the smaller game modes in terms of physical space on the map, and thus there tends to be more cases of close to medium range gunfights. This weapon absolutely excels in these circumstances, and allows you to play as aggressively as if you were running an assault weapon. This is very fitting for a game mode like Domination, where each person on the battlefield has added importance and the potential to make a greater difference due to there only being 12 people on each team. So being able to push objectives and slay people while being able to run a medic is hugely valuable. But why is it important to be a medic then? Why not just run assault? Well as a medic you can push the objective and kill the enemy while repeatedly healing yourself with pouches. So you never have to stop for very long at all. Kill, heal, repeat. The automatic extended and the pouches go hand in hand here and can make you a formidable force. The auto revolver complements this playstyle nicely, with a slower rate of fire and higher damage. So if you need to pull it out for a certain situation, then you can do so safe in the knowledge that you're likely going to be able to two tap the enemy and put them down. It's once again fantastic at close range and, on the other occasion, it's also possible to take someone out a bit further away as well. Now the frag grenade is nice to add to this as it keeps the class very versatile and somewhat makes up for the lack of other explosives available which we're sacrificing in order to run the medical syringe. With the syringe we can obviously revive those around us. Couple that with healing your teammates or perhaps more specifically your squad and you can create the effect of a never ending barrage that the enemy has to consistently attempt to repel. Keep on top of the need to heal and revive while rotating with your squad and you're now perfectly executing a hard pushing domination strategy. Your squad barely has to stop to heal as you throw the pouches around at range and they can be aggressive knowing that you're likely to revive them if they come up short in a gunfight. As we mentioned before, each individual has more of a potential impact in domination. So if you can keep these individuals alive, then you've made them more than just soldiers, they're almost super soldiers now. And these undying combat units can form a near immortal squad that can achieve exactly what this mode is all about. Domination. It also has value as a build in general play, in other game modes, if used correctly. It's just a very strong loadout when paired with the right playstyle. So what do you think? Reckon this build can do serious work in Domination? Reckon it can work in other game modes? What's your ultimate build for this game mode or a different game mode? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video then feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Laters.